Mr. Hessian, you uh, advertise in your campaign that you have restored openness at City Hall. During your time as City Council President and then as Mayor, you were given information about an overbilling by the private ambulance company that has an exclusive contract in Spokane, repeated overbilling. You did not take any action to disclose or rectify the overbilling of our citizens or to address why the overbilling took place right in front of our noses. After public disclosure and admissions made largely as a result of my efforts, you were presented with enough evidence to fine the ambulance company millions of dollars, yet you imposed a fine of only 80000 Why were you so slow to act? And why did you impose such a paltry penalty on a company that overbills Spokane's customers at their m most vulnerable circumstances when they need an ambulance? First of all, let's let, let's let the record be clear. Uh, the, dis the problems with the AMR billing uh, were discovered by the fire department and made known to me. That was there followed by a, a review of all of, the, all of the records of AMR uh, by AMR who hired a separate consultant to do that, which resulted in a major uh, overbilling disclosure uh, and and in my responsibility as the mayor, I make decisions about what was the appropriate way, uh, appropriate uh, penalty for them. In making that decision, I took into the consideration the fact that, in my view, after reading all of the information, uh, that this this was an error that was made uh, in judgment. It was not a deliberate attempt on their part to dis to deceive anybody. It was very credible how they made the mistake, uh, and that's the reason why the fine was the way it was. And it was a consensus of fine that w from the uh, fire department uh, as well as my administration. You have 30. I know about the issue because it was brought to me as a city council person. It was brought to you at the same time. And the, uh, the issue is very complicated. It goes back quite a bit longer than when it was finally disclosed by the fire department. And I expect a strong mayor of the city of Spokane to react swiftly and firmly and not allow our consumers to be um, defrauded or punished by a company doing business here in the city of Spokane. I was very disappointed, and I don't think that exhibited the characteristics of a strong mayor.